been slammed for his lack of preparation, which isn't fair. Just look how hard he has worked preparing his November 9th excuses. I'm afraid the election's going to be rigged. I have to be honest. People are going to walk in, they're going to vote 10 times, maybe. Who knows? And I'm telling you, November 8th, we better be careful because that election's going to be rigged. I think you get the subtext here. Trump and his supporters are absolutely terrified of riggers. In the debate, Trump said he would accept the results of the election and graciously not pursue a coup d'etat. But that promise, like Trump's wedding vows, lasted about four days. You got to watch your polling booths because I hear too many stories about Pennsylvania, certain areas. I hear too many bad stories, and we can't lose an election because of you know what I'm talking about. He's talking about areas historically teeming with rigors. <laughs> so how are Trump supporters handling this mixed messaging? I sent Alana Harkin and Amy Hoggart to find out. Donald Trump's supporters have gotten his message loud and clear, both of them. He's been saying that the election is rigged. Do you have any thoughts on that? Yeah, definitely the election can, uh, is definitely rigged. Is that just protecting himself before the results in case he loses? No, okay. he won't lose. So why would the election be rigged then? Are you sure yet? Of course it's rigged. Jesus Christ. Who's he running against? Hillary Clinton. She's a liar. Do you think that Trump is going to win? Of course he's going to win by a landslide. But you just said the election's going to be rigged. Oh, it's not going to be rigged in his favor. So it's rigged if Hillary wins, but not rigged exactly. if Trump wins. Exactly. Isn't that like saying just any woman who didn't want to date you was a lesbian? Exactly. Turns out in-person voter fraud is really insignificant, according to experts who have exhaustively studied it and found that it's so rare it doesn't affect election outcomes. It's actually been shown that there have been 31 cases of voter fraud out of a billion since 2000. Is that right? Yeah. So that's what that's what the media is saying then. Oh, so you don't believe anything in the media? I think they've got their own agenda that they go with, yes. If this interview is shown on TV, then we're both part of the media. Yeah, yeah, we are. Are you worried that we're lying? Uh, no, I'm just going from... Uh, no, not necessarily. And if Trump can convince his supporters that he's the Schrodinger's cat of candidates, both winning and losing at the same time, he can also get them to believe that the media's rigged against him. It's definitely not rigged for him. He doesn't get a fair shake. CNN, they Trump bash all the time. Uh, and so the media is favoring... 100% Hillary, Hillary Clinton. She doesn't get hammered on the email. She doesn't get hammered on Benghazi. But you seem to know a lot about them. I mean, I, I watch the news. Why did we find out about her fainting just by some person like you or I catching it on an iPhone? So you think she should have flagged up, I'm about to faint, can we get a proper film crew in right now? Yeah. Oh, it absolutely is rigged. Um, every person that I have talked to supports Trump. I just feel like everyone close to me has the same ideas and everyone that I'm friends with socially on social media. I see way more people talking about Facebook. Trump. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever. Well, isn't that just people that you know? Maybe. Maybe. The people in your social circle share a lot of interesting facts you won't find on the news. George Soros owns the company that makes some of the voting machines. If the Democrats could rig the voting machines, why would they lose the congressional races in 2010? Maybe to just uh, throw us off. Hustling. Yeah. And to make sure there's no hustling this time, Trump has enlisted his supporters to be, let's just call them amateur poll watchers, because potentially illegal poll intimidators is a bit on the nose. What is it exactly that you're looking for? Well, just if I saw the same person come in twice or change their hats and, um, oh. you know, I don't know. Like maybe get several wigs. Right, I mean. You can completely transform your face with a fake mustache, so I would watch for that. Right. Okay. Yep, I've already, I've already signed up to be what's called the poll watcher. Oh, great. The main thing is for us to be there to, you know, show that Trump is a good, that's, you know, support Trump, just make sure that people aren't you know, trying to sway voters right there. But you you're know, trying to sway voters. I might, I mean, I... Oh, so you're uh, checking that other people don't do yeah. what you're doing. Right, yeah, yeah. exactly. So, <laughs> so you, know, you can win. Right, well, no, no, so America can win. One way or the other. We either take our country back by a vote, yeah. or we take our country back by another revolution. That's where we're at. And if Hillary Clinton should lose? I think that Hillary Clinton 
if she were to lose the election, she will claim that the election has been rigged. Maybe she'll be saying, hey, this is rigged just to buy herself a little insurance policy yeah. for losing. Yeah, for that. Yeah, there you go. That's right. Cover herself. Sure. What a lame thing to do. Yeah, right. Just lose what? like a man. Yeah, I mean, if you lose, you lose. Tuck your balls in and move on. And move on. That's right. We'll be right back.